Hello everyone, my name is Annette Stanton, uh, International Life and Business Coach, and I'm here to share three tips with you. So one of the things that's, uh, when it comes to business and running a business, it's really, really important. Tip number one is to have a clear vision, a vision that is in alignment with your values. So what does that truly mean? You know, because it's making sure that the, the values of who you truly are and why you're setting your business up in the first place is at the core of everything that you do. So having a clear vision, and a lot of people say to me when I ask them, have you got a vision? And they smile at me and they tap their finger, you know, oh, it's all up here. Here. So the first you know, tip that I have around your vision is making sure that you clearly write your vision down, making sure that they're in alignment with your goals and also having a plan that then you know, outlines your objectives and where you want to take the business as well as that purposeful why. So we have to have that heart and soul why so that you remind yourself this is why you're in business because yes, you're going to have your great days and you're going to have your why my business days and you need to have a look at your vision as my coach used to say to me, have your vision written down, put it on the wall where you can see it in your office and on those why days, why my business again, I would always go and read the vision. So number two tip is making sure that from your vision, you then have what's called systems. And a lot of the systems, you know, when I used to think about systems, it, I felt like a bit of a, oh my goodness, how do I create systems in the way that serve this vision? So one of the really simple ways is to think simply. So I used to have a sign on the wall, you know, think, you know, it, Creating a business is simple because it actually is, but we tend to complex it. So what, if you think about systems, the system is a routine and a habit. And it's important to know what are the habits that you are actually placing and um, putting into action each day inside your business. And then when you write those things down, where you're spending your time and on what you're spending your time doing, how long is it taking? When you write it down and get really conscious, you start to see what's working, what's not working, where you might be wasting your time, energy and money, okay? Because they're the things that are gonna drive you crazy. They're gonna think they're the things that will either keep you in, in business. They're the areas that you'll start to get more and more consciously aware. Right? Which so, you know, things like knowing what are the steps that you are taking each day in the business and what we call they're called business foundations, yeah. So then you start to create the systems and the other area that's important is having strong personal foundations. So the personal foundations are the intrinsic. So we have the human doing, the doing of the work of the business owner, and we also have the behind closed doors, how do you really feel in your body and your mind, what's really going on, so that we don't put up that facade, so we don't put up that wall, or we don't put on the, the suit, because what happens ultimately, whereby if you have this mask going on, you're going to exhaust yourself, right? So the personal foundations are all about keeping in alignment with the vision and the values. Making sure that you have strong emotional intelligence. Now, the emotional intelligence is knowing who you are, okay, and, and doing things like, you know, exercising the body, exercising the mind through meditation. Will keep the body and the mind calm, your whole body and mind in alignment whilst you're in action. And we talk about inspiration, we talk about innovation, we talk about presence today. If you want to have a business that's really working with the doing side of it, the business foundations, in alignment with the personal foundations, then tip number three will have you be in alignment with what we call your supportive mindset. So a lot of the times along the way, I used to be a World Masters Champion sportswoman. Back then it was the old no pain, no gain. Okay, so push through at all costs, make it happen, that sort of thing. And what I've realised in my 50 wise years plus today, um, that it doesn't work anymore in the way of sustainability. So if you want to have inspirational presence, yeah, in alignment with your innovation as you evolve in your business, then having a conscious mindset yeah, is so important. You be that supportive person from inside out so that you speak kindly to yourself, you acknowledge yourself, pat yourself on the back for you know, the accomplishments that you are doing. As I was talking to this woman yesterday behind closed doors, she was telling me everything that wasn't working in the business. And I said, well, let's have a talk about what has been working. All of a sudden, she's telling me about the sales that she's made. 
and you know all the different people that she was meeting, the telephone calls that she had been putting into action, but because it hasn't completed a full result yet, she was chasing results without acknowledging the actions that she was taking, which will always affect that supportive mindset. So let's recap. Number one, having a strong vision that's in alignment with your values. Number two, powerful and strong business foundations as well as personal foundations. Number three, having a supportive mindset so that you can go the distance, keeping in touch with your purposeful why and having a business and a life that you love. Thank you, my name's Annette Stanton, International Life and Business Coach, supporting you to design a life and business success that you love.